This is a tutorial on how to do the traditional granny squares. To start your granny square, we're going to make a foundation ring. And I'm going to make a foundation ring out of four chains. So I'm going to make a start loop, put your crochet hook through it, pull it a little bit tight, not too tight. And I'm going to chain four. Um, if you have like thinner yarn and a thinner crochet hook, you might need to do more. Now you're going to go back to your very first loop and slip stitch. So you're going to pull your yarn all the way through both loops. So that makes a little circle. Then we're going to chain three and this is going to count as your first double crochet. Do a double crochet into the center of the ring and do another double crochet in the center of the ring. And this is going to count as three double crochet. I'm going to chain two and do three more double crochet into the center of the ring. Now, when you're doing your double crochets, um, you can do, as I'm doing here, is like trapping your yarn, like the end yarn, into sort of your double crochet, sort of like double crocheting over the end or yarn tail. Um, this way you can like easily cut it off later because it's sort of trapped and it won't be going anywhere. Um, and it's just going to make a neater edge. If it's too much fuss and you can't really be bothered at the moment, you can just skip that and just, you know, just crochet into the center of the uh, circle. And then you can weave it in at the end with a darning needle. That would be fine. I just think this is easier. It's just going to save you a little bit of hassle at the end. So you keep doing um, three double crochets, chain two, another three double crochets. So we've got three sets of three double crochets. Doing that one for the very last time. Um, chain two, do some more double crochets and then you will end up with like a square shape that has four sets of three double crochet all done into one center ring. Now end up by doing two more chain two chain stitches and doing a slip stitch to sort of finish off your square. What you do is you go to the uh, post that you first post that you did of th chain three and you go to the very top of that, poke your hook through the two legs of the V and then slip stitch. So just pull your yarn all the way through that. And also through the loop on your yarn hook, just pull it all the way through. That's your slip stitch. Um, just do that again. So you go to the top of the very first post that was chain three, put your hook through the two loops of the V, pull your yarn all the way through and all the way through the loop that was on your hook. Now do one extra single crochet, or oh sorry, not single crochet, a uh, chain one, just to make it snug and secure. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the end tail at the back. Um, because I trapped it inside doing the double crochets. You leave the little end because you haven't really attached it to anything, so you can't cut it off too short, otherwise it, it will unravel. Now I'm going to attach an, another color. You can do this in the same color if you want. I am just demonstrating it so that you know how to attach another color. Um, which I just do by knotting 
a different color to the corner and then you just start your chain three start with some more double crochets another double crochet and you can see I'm sort of like holding the little end tails as well so that they get trapped chain two and do three more double crochet so that you have in your corner three double crochet two chains and another three double crochet so every time you do a corner that's where your corner is sort of made up of it's three two three chain one because you're going to have to sort of bridge over the space to go to the next corner so you're going to need a little bit of uh, more room that's why I'm chaining one if you have very thin yarn and a thin uh, crochet hook you might not need to do it and it if you chain that one in between you might get sort of like a big loose um, granny square so you know just try out and see what it looks like um but you probably will need to do that chain one okay next corner so we're doing three double crochets two chains three double crochet and chain one to bridge the gap from going from the one corner to the other corner make a little bridge now you can cut that off as well i like to cut it off in between you might want to leave your little ends uh till the very last bit i can however um you know advise you that you sort of work weave in all your end tails when you finished your granny square before you start making another you know if you're making a blanket and you're making like 120 granny squares and you haven't done all the weaving in of the ends you are so going to hate yourself because then you know you're so excited you've finished all your granny squares and what do you have to do you have to do weaving in of 120 little end pieces it's going to be horrible so you know every time you finish one granny square just weave in the ends it's going to be a little bit of a pain but it's going to be so much better than doing it after you've finished like all your granny squares so we're on the last corner three double crochet chain two three more double crochet chain one to get to the other side and then find the top of your chain three push your hook through the two loops of the V and do a chain stitch and that chain stitch is just pulling it through all the loops at the same time making it nice flat and tight and then I always do an extra loop to make it more secure so that's like a tiny granny square I'm going to add a third color just to show you so and you can like keep going on adding color now I'm just going to knot in the new color in the corner grab the yarn chain three grab it from the back chain three 
add two more double crochet so that you end up with three posts. Chain two. And three double crochet. Now, because in the last round we've made sort of like a bridge in the center of the granny square, we're going to do another cluster of three double crochets in that ditch. So, chain one for your little bridge. Three double crochet. Try to ignore that little end tail there. I'm just going to leave it on and show you at the end how to weave it in with a needle. Chain one to make another bridge, and then you get to the corner and do your three double crochet chain two and three double crochet and that's basically all it is you do three double crochets in all the spaces and then when you get to a corner you do a three double crochet chain two and another three double crochet and then when you want to bridge from one cluster of double crochets to the other you just chain one in between So chain one, three double crochet, because this is a corner, chain two, and three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet, chain one, and then you get to your last corner. chain two, three double crochet, chain one, get your last centerpiece. And there you do your last cluster of three double crochets. chain one, find the top of your post made of chain three and slip stitch into that by pulling it through and chaining one to make the whole bit secure and tight. Pull your yarn through, snip it off Um, and I'm just going to get a needle, like a darning needle, tapestry needle, whatever you have on hand. And I always just like put it through the back of the double crochets and then sort of double back on itself, you know, adding a little loop. Um, and that's going to be so snug and tight, it's never going to come undone again. And I like to do the same for those bits at the top. You put your needle, put it through your needle, sort of like travel down 
to where you have all the end bits of the double crochet where they sort of like get together and then just like push it through all the way and it's going to be completely invisible and it's good yes yeah, it's just ever so tight and snug and secure and that's it you've made your first granny square <laughs>